Politicians know that if they can make the public fearful of something and offer them protection from that fear, they will gain votes. We face a direct threat to our civilization if we allow large numbers of people from that war-torn region into Europe. Thousands upon thousands of people threatening our entire way of life. Why do we react so badly when people have the courage to try and come here to seek safety? We cannot be misty-eyed about this. We must have secure borders. I've become very concerned about what Australia is doing to refugees and what the world is doing to refugees. But here we have people who have applied for refugee status without the right to work, and the police say you're not even allowed to live under a bridge. Well, what the hell are they supposed to do? Islamophobia is a big part. I mean, there clearly is a reaction against the refugees and against migration. Poland is not inclined to accept refugees. Slovakia is not. The Czech Republic is not. Hungary is not. Since 9-11, there has been a gradual rolling back of attitudes towards human rights, which is permeating through European countries and through the Americas as well. On an impenetrable, powerful southern border war. If the claim is they're always looking for the criminals, but they're going to grab the lowest fruit hanging on a tree. Donald Trump's current policies are a disgrace to this country and a betrayal of its history. What we can offer them here is safety. We stand ready to help offer sanctuary to refugees who need our help. Because it was 10 families, children, it was babies. Every single refugee is a human being. I tried to find a way to help him. Hundreds of thousands of people at our borders erecting fences to keep them out was just not doable. Every country that has signed the Refugees Convention has yielded a little fraction of its sovereignty in favour of people who are trying to escape persecution. This is not an insurmountable problem. We are now treating refugees as if the Refugees Convention had never been executed. How do we get back there? One answer is another world war, and nobody wants that.